Hello everyone, welcome to BIM Modeler, this is Raj. In this video tutorial, you will be learning what are the types of Revit families. So it is important that before starting any uh, Revit project or learning the Revit, you have to understand what are the types available in Revit. There are three types basically, system family, component family and in place family. Depends on the requirement, you will be using a different types of families in the project. The system family is nothing but uh, wall, duct, pipe, cable trays and floors, ceilings, roofs. So these are the different uh, uh, system families available and other than that uh, some other elements also available. Common family for example window door and switch pa uh, panels, lightings and uh, air terminals, diffuser, VAV unit, equipments, anything uh, which is available as a Revit family that can be loadable. In place families are a unique one uh, where you have to uh, create them requirement basis. So for example if you are creating a, a corner table in your applicable uh, places so that table cannot be used in the other project uh, it may not be required because the the shape of the uh, corner availability is not applicable to the other project. So it cannot be uh, we don't have to create them as a component family and uh, reuse them so it is a project specific requirement for example uh, you can say that the left side one uh, which is uh, concrete blocks which can be created as a component family and it can be reused in multiple projects and loadable and it can be used in multiple projects if you see on the right side the shape of the uh, curb that you see uh, which is specific to the project and because uh, available uh, space depends on the available space we will be creating this length of the uh, curve and then other things so it cannot be used on the next project file so we don't have to create them as a component family so the system family can be transferable using the uh, option there is a setting in Revit you can transfer the one project to the other project but it cannot be loadable it will not be available as a separate file so you cannot load but the component families are transferable, transferable from one project to the other and loadable also the in place family cannot be used in other project we don't have to use it in the other project that's the right way to say and uh, if you need it can be copied from one project to the other project types can be created in system family uh, that's the main thing that you do in revit project template you will create your types depends on the uh, standard your standard and requirement you will be creating different types and component families also you can create a different uh, types for example window sizes different sizes you can create and you can use them in the project in in place family you cannot create a type that's one thing and in system family as I said it will be there in the system by default like wall door everything will be there at least minimum one type will be there based on that type you will be able to create the site so these types will be loaded from the project automatically so you don't have to create them from the beginning so there will be one type at least the component families are loaded whenever wherever it requires uh, loading more families into the project it uh, increases the project's file size so try to avoid that loading all the families and keeping it in the project can be copied to one from one project to the other project that is the in place family uh, mostly it is not required uh, if it is required you can copy from one place to the other place it's possible so system family as i said it is one of the template settings and component family is also loading the component family is also one of the template settings you can do and but in place families we don't create in place family in the template and use it reuse them so it's not applicable to them so that's it. I hope you understand these three differences. And if you have any questions on them, you leave it, leave your comment below. And if you like this video, share it with your learning friends. Uh, so they also learn it with you. And uh, happy learning. See you on the next tutorial.